welcome back to another YouTube video. I am Turbo Josh. This is my auto vlog. Uh, before you go any further, consider subscribing. It helps even if you're not going to watch the videos often or I don't cover everything you want to see. Consider it helps us getting out there, suggested videos, and just getting more exposure for the channel that a lot of people deserve. They probably don't get. Um, it's got a Corvette, the supercharged, got a turbocharged Harley Davidson's pretty quick. KLX 110, big bore 143. The mini Jeep's pretty crazy. Gets a lot of views. 50cc ATV. Today will be the review on this GB Moto 50cc dirt bike. The cheapest dirt bike you can basically buy offline. Um, I got this thing for like $305 on sale on eBay and figured why not gamble it? You know, it's not that expensive. I had a 60 day window to return it if uh, it sucked which it entirely does and i will cover everything that sucks about it first thing to consider is if you're going to get your child a 50 cc dirt bike to get one that's name brand or even considerably the same to this 50 cc dirt bike like ktm kawasaki honda and a few other brands i may not mention off the top of my head you're going to spend a considerably larger amount of money in between 600 to 1800 dollars, depending on the year of the bike and uh, factors like how it starts up this is a pull cord start which i think is the cheapest option and the stupidest option because not many kids that are going to be this size getting this size dirt bike can even start this thing they don't have enough arm strength to pull the actual starter cord so instead of trying to spend all that money and gambling what's even available in your facebook marketplace locally i was like all right 300 bucks we got a 60 day window to return it why not give it a try see what it's worth my son's pretty much an adrenaline hog so He's not a newbie rider by any means, but he's not a weekend dirt bike rider. We don't have crazy 450s and 250s. We don't ride every weekend, crazy stuff like that. But he did fall in love with this bike instantly and rode the crap out of it the first few days. And we've only owned this thing since Christmas. And right now is like January 1st or Jan December 31st. I think it's January, a day or two after New Year's. First things to consider, pull start, very cheap kids this size are not going to be able to start this thing with their own hands one of the other crappy things that happen start off with out of a five star review negative two stars it's crazy to think that if you're going to pay 300 for this bike it probably costs the company clearly in china 50 bucks to maybe 100 bucks to produce and manufacture this bike and clearly these things are only designed to be functional to last outside your warranty window whether or not it's a year or whatever the case but if it's a china-made product that warranty falls on to the company that's selling it to you. So in this case, 60 days for a YouTube return or not a YouTube eBay return and or maybe a year's. I don't even know what the actual warranty on the product is. Pull start. Very, very cheap. Literally the first day on Christmas by the fifth time my son had rode this dirt bike, he yanked it up and let it go and the pull handle cracked in half and broke. This is a pull handle for my mower I've already upgraded and i went to go start it for him the next time so he didn't hurt himself and i cut my finger wide open pretty annoying um in between trying to change to this pull start uh i let go of the string which has tension on it so it goes back in like it's supposed to it recoils and i had to take the assembly off recoil it do the spring it was pretty much a disaster um the other thing that really really sucks about this bike is very cheap plastic every everywhere there's plastic this is an engine casing for heat this plastic is so cheap and so weak that it's almost like porcelain. So I think on five separate occasions, he has let go of the pull cord from up here and it has slapped down and broken off at least three to five pieces of plastic. It's broken off plastic here. The side of the intake housing he broke off, which is like an intake cap that goes over this little air filter you can now see and is exposed. And again, that's just by letting this go. Uh, the second day we had it, the choke handle broke completely in half. This is now Gorilla glued back on so far as holding together and works. The other thing is engine rattle. There is no grommet or motor mount assembly on this. It is just engine bolted to metal frame. Which you can see right here. There's four bolts that hold it in. I even tightened them down to see if I could get rid of the rattle. And they're attached right here as well. The brackets are literally just Allen headed to the motor. Absolute noisy piece of junk. It just rattles 24-7. And I'm going to try to get a video of that here in just a second. Within the second day of riding it, I'm guessing because it's a gas and oil mix, literally the bolt that holds on the catalytic converter scenario was leaking oil and fluid out of it. Not a good sign. Two days. I think by that time he had three to five tanks of gas. 
through it. Um, as far as like the power, sure, it's zippy. It's quick. It's plenty enough speed for him. I think we clocked it at like 30.9 miles an hour with him on it wide open next to my KLX dirt bike. Just to show you how noisy it is, we also had a total failure the other night. We were riding together. He went to go turn around. I could hear him hitting the gas, and I could hear what sounded like the chain popped off, which wouldn't be uncommon. That's not a really big issue to fix. However, the clutch completely failed. So a lot of that really excessive chattering and banging you hear is, I'm guessing, the clutch assembly just flopping around in there. So as of right now, this dirt bike is completely useless. I know what I got into with the gamble of getting this cheaper dirt bike but that's just ridiculous to have that failure so the odds that you're going to have this bike and not have any issues at all with it in the first six months are very very slim or the kids don't just they just don't ride it that often or they ride it for the first few days and they kind of lose interest in it because it's intimidating or it's not what they thought they wanted or they're playing Fortnite or xbox or whatever the case may be so engine rattle ridiculous clutch already broke and keep in mind that's like by the eighth tank of gas now it went everywhere it didn't have issues going through really soft sand we took it down some dirt roads together that are really really soft sand so it'll go anywhere but amongst the rattling it's just kind of annoying and obviously the clutch assembly has already failed Another thing was the brake system kind of sucks. My son was uh, getting up to speed and he liked locking up the rear brake to skid the rear tire a little bit in the dirt. And within like the first 30 times of doing that, the brake system came loose and the caliper kind of separated and wasn't even slowing down the bike anymore at all. Another thing I really hated was that this dirt bike is so cheap that we had to buy riser lifters, bar risers, because this handlebar setup bolted down in here, which the top caps for these are over there by my toolbox, but the handlebars were literally way down here to where they were level with the gas tank, which is really annoying and cheap if you ask me. An ideal dirt bike should have a handlebar set up like this to where the handlebars are raised at least four to six inches above the surface of the gas tank. That way they have more of a comfortable sit so we had to upgrade the bar risers which now will be useless because we're returning the bike and already have the return set up and have the you know pre-printed shipping label or whatever the other good things i can probably add was that it came with like a little gas canteen that has like a gas mark where to add gas to and then how much oil to add since it is a two-stroke unit that is right here this is a two-stroke dirt bike, so it takes like a 25 to 1 gas mix ratio, which has a sticker on the gas tank. Doesn't take a genius to find it. But all in all, just a total piece of junk. After seeing my son fail to get it, when it's warm and it'll kick over fine without the choke on, sometimes he can get it started, but not every time. So it was kind of inconvenient to want have him want me to start it up for him every time. Granted, that's not the end of the world. A lot of fathers may be more engaged in stuff and want to be out there every time they ride. My son already knows how to drive the Mini Jeep, has already ridden my KLX. So he's kind of well beyond the point where if he asks me to ride it, I just let him send it. I let him shoot on down the road. Um, now that I'm going to return this one and get him a different bike, I'm like, well, I need to get him something I know that he could start up on his own so he can be fully solo if he wants to be. And even a kickstart at their age is kind of whimsical unless they build up the leg strength. They might be able to do it. They might not. But I'm not going to gamble several hundred dollars more than 300 bucks to see if he can kickstart it and let him just deal with it. So the bike that I found that seemed best for him was a Yamaha TTR or TT50, which seems to be the only 50cc dirt bike for this size or that size child, which is him that comes with an electric start after like 2010 which why buy a 2001 if you can get a 2012 for a couple hundred bucks more and on average a 2001 is like four to eight hundred bucks when i can get a 2012 to 14 for around six to a thousand so now that we've gambled this one i'm definitely going to get him a better one one that will definitely last one that's engine is mounted properly so it doesn't rattle like a soda can once it gets going and there's so much engine revolution he's going five miles an hour down the road that the rattling is not as bad but when he slows down to a stop to turn around it just sounds like 15 soda cans going off in a washer so 
Um, I want to get him a TTR now, so that's what we'll end up doing for him. But um, I wanted some other videos of this thing riding around, but you, when I do YouTube videos for my channel, I try to plot what the views will be with other videos related to it on YouTube, and it just didn't seem like there were many views yielded for just a kid riding around a GB Moto. But I did want to drop a review because it obviously had more success in view counts than just a ride video of it. But he loved it. He was head over heels for it. The child, if they're asking for a dirt bike, will no doubt love it. However, you know, he's just already all grown it within five days and it's just broken to heck. So negative two star review. I wouldn't even bother with this bike, especially if you're willing to gamble the time frame and buy it and see if you like it before your return time is up to where you have the power to get rid of it and get your money back. Knock yourself out. That's the gamble you want to take. In my case, I test drove that option. Absolute failure. And you, you can only get that luxury off eBay. You can do Amazon if you want, but the return process is a little bit more intricate and not as streamlined and simple. So, yeah, just want to make a video for it. This helped out. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for us. It really helps us get out there, taking the time to shoot this video and edit it and get this information out to you guys to save you some money. So if you're not going to watch the videos that I drop in the future or you don't know exactly what my channel is about, just subscribe. It really helps us get out there, whether or not you're going to watch for an average 1 million subscriber channel on an average, they'll get 150 to 250,000 views. So just hitting that button doesn't cost you any money, but does help people get out there and goes a long way. So do make sure you do that for us. Anthony, if you want to say bye-bye YouTube, bye -bye. Landon laying bye -bye. on the top of my truck, we will see you next time. Toodaloo.